Whenever we have a conference, um, the question is, what are we going to do? What's the, what's the goal of the conference? هدف ما از یک کنفرانس چی خواهد بود؟ اگر کنفرانس داریم. So what is our function? What are we going to? Where are we going to go at the end of this conference? Are we going to have a conference for the sake of a conference? آیا ما میخوایم یک کنفرانس داشته باشیم به خاطر یک کنفرانس؟ But I don't think that's a good reason to have a conference. It's, it's to take the church from one place and to take it to another place. هدف کنفرانس اینه که کلیسا رو از یه مکان به یه مکان دیگه منتقل کنه. It's to take it from one place to another place. And the church is a living embodiment. It's a living organism. کلیسا یه چیز زنده هستش. And any living organism needs to grow. We agree? Any living. هر چیزی که زنده است باید روش بکنه. قبول داریم؟ But humanity... When it comes to the things of God, has more of a static posture. And so now, when they come to God, they usually want to be in a position where they are not moving and not moving. Let me say this again: We have a static posture when it comes to God. Once we learn something, we think we got it, and we don't want to add to it anymore. We become very protective of what we learned. When we remember something from the Bible, we want to be very protective. نمیخوایم عوضش بکنیم. But let me say that a living church, a living church is the one that is dynamic and continues to learn, even if it means sometimes admitting what they learned before wasn't totally right. That's the sign of maturity. بعض وقت نشانه رشدی مسیح این استش که میاد به نقطه میرسه میگه چیزی که یاد گرفتم شاید درست نبود. بس عوض کنم خودم ها. This is not a sign of weakness. This is a sign of maturity. I always say one of the signs of a good leader is one that admits that I made a mistake. I even taught maybe something by mistake. Now I'm going to show you that the dynamics of growth come from sometimes going back to the very basics of what we learned and see if what our basics are are foundationally correct. و بعض وقتا باید برگردیم به اصول اولیه ایمانمون اونا رو زیر سوال قرار بدیم و اگه تونستیم اونها رو درست انجام بدیم بقیه رو میتونیم بر اونها بنا کنیم So I'm sitting here in my den in my nice little home in Houston, Texas in 2011 having been a pastor, preacher, teacher on TV for more than well 20 years at that time maybe 15 years And God asks me a question through the Holy Spirit. And I'm sitting there, I'm just drinking my tea. Not a coffee, I'm Iranian, I drink chai. And God says, who are you? Ask me a question, who are you? I was sitting in the house after 20 years of faith, and God asked me a question. He said, who are you? And I'm thinking, what kind of a question is that? Why would you ask me that question? Who am I? So I start giving him the entire entourage of answers. I'm a child of God, a king, a son of the king. I am a, I'm a you know, call to a mission, I have a purpose. I'm, a, I'm the salt of the earth. I'm the, you know, the, the whole thing that I've learned through all my, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm your teacher, I'm your pastor, I'm your prophet. All the things that I thought I could identify with. So I started answering the question, who is it? I was a bad person. But I felt inside that the Holy Spirit wasn't satisfied with my answer. So I asked him, what are you up to? What are you trying to do? As Rul Qudus Prophet said, Manzur ad azin sual chiye? Go, are you able to answer this question with absolute confidence, who are you? To ki hasti. But then I better not, I better ask you, because I think you're setting me up for something. But then behtare ki jawabat nadam, but then khud jawab bedi. Shom mesti ki mi khay mana chiye talab endazi. I think you're trying to put me in the spot. Then he didn't ask that. He didn't answer that question. He asked me another question. He says, "What are you able to do? What are you able to do?" I said, "Well, so I went on again. I so said, I can heal the sick. I can preach the gospel. I can prophesy. I can minister, you know, to the needy." And I went on again to the whole entourage of things that I learned. But so all the two machine boot to check out your mitunia and John Bedi. The word is I can't answer all the job Beda. And before I could finish that, he asked me a third question. He said. What are you supposed to do? 
So it was, who are, you? who are you? What can you do? And what are you supposed to do? So kiasti, chikar mitunyi bokoni, va chikar bayas bokoni. Such a sad. Three questions. And when it's all over, by the time this session between me and the Holy Spirit was done, I realized that I could not satisfy him with my answer. That what I thought I knew wasn't good enough. And maybe I had parts of the truth, or maybe I had all the truth, but I couldn't put it in the way God wanted me to comprehend it. But in the end, I said that this answer is not good enough. So now I ask him, he says, what do you want me to say? He said, So now I ask him, he says, what do you want me to say? He said, if you cannot answer these three questions properly, then how can you lead others properly? And I had to stop there. I said, I thought I could. And he said, from now on, that's what the words of the Holy Spirit, in 2011, from now on, the entire ministry of you, Mani Irfan, will be to properly answer these three questions for the church. Because these are foundational these are the cornerstone of what we Christians should do. Who are we? What, what can we do? What are we supposed to do? Aren't they simple? Are you also nisan sala? Sala khali asuni hastan. Vai rul qudus ke age inha ro doros natuni javab bedi, be digaran che gure mikhay dars bedi. Pas az hala be baad in sata sala khud javab bede va be digaran komak kon javab bedan. The function of this conference in the portion that I will teach you and I'll try to comprehend to you is the answer to these three questions, but we will never get to the end of it in one conference. This is, a, this is a very long process, so we only touch on the things we can. We'll give you an overview. We'll just be, give you tidbits of the truth so that you get a feel for what God has revealed to me. I consider myself a, revel a revelational teacher. In Iranian ministry, they call me a prophet. I'm not sure what that means to them, but I do know what it means in the context of what I understand a prophetic ministry is. It is not to predict your future. It is to create a reformation and a radical change in the church. We're not seat seers and soothsayers in the church, okay? We are transformational and we create an, a new vision for the church. Amen? That's what prophets do. Man nabi khoda hastam, wali nabuvat ayande bini nis to kilisa. Inro durust dak nakardan aziza. نبی خدا کسی هست که خانده شده از جناب خدا که کلیسا رو عوض کنه و کار سختیه چون اون وقت دشمناش زیاده افرادی که نمیتونن تحمل کنن تغییر و تحولا و ما ایرانی از همه بدتریم توی این مسئله چون ذاتمون این هستش که به طور کلی تغییر سری نمی کنیم وقتی هم میخوایم تغییر بکنیم تغییر که کردیم دوباره دیگه نمیخوام تغییر کنیم کلیسا یه چیز جدیدیه برای ایرانی حالا که تغییر پیدا کرده یه نفر مثل من میاد دوباره میخواد تغییرش بده درکشو باش مبارزه میکنه من دوستای زیادی به نشوانه ایرانی ندارم چون تغییر و تحولی که ما میاریم برای تغییر پیدا کردن کلیسای ایرانه از کل کلیسای ایران کلیسای مریضی هستش کلیسای سالمی نیست اوکی متاسفانه ولی ما سلامتی رو برای این کلیسا میخوایم so we i gave you a foundation where we're going i mean Amen? Does it make sense a little bit? All right. So let's just go to the most foundational verse that I have come to that brought me to this understanding. It's in Philippians, the second chapter. Philippiando. This is the one verse that God got me when I said, so give me the answer. What are you asking me to do? On the first question of who am I, you got to give me an answer. You have to tell me who, what, is, what does this mean? Because you got me set up. So the Lord brought me to Philippians, the second chapter. Philippians, do. Talon, okay? Hasan, me fahman, Farsi, English, English, Farsi is okay. We're okay. We can. We were managing this year. I haven't lost anybody. Okay, I'm doing this as a dual translation message. All right. So let's for bachay rani Philippians do fasle ayi aval to ayi yazam. Philippians two verses one to eleven. This is where we're going to go. Okay. Okay, so is there any encouragement from belonging to Christ? خودتون در عزیزان ایرانی اگر انجیل دارید بخونید. فیلیپیانز دو یک تا یازه. Any comfort from his love? Any fellowship together in the spirit? Are your hearts tender and compassionate? Then 
make me truly happy by agreeing wholeheartedly with each other, loving one another, and working together with one mind and one purpose. This is the essence of where we're going to go. We want to go after this conference to get to a place of one mind and one purpose. Now, don't be selfish. Don't try to impress others. Be humble, thinking of others as better than yourselves. Don't look out only for your own interests, but take an interest in others too. I think when it comes to any teaching ministry, sometimes I feel like the issue of humbleness in a teaching ministry is to think about accepting that you may have been mistaken in what you've done or what you preached and then allowing that the interest of the church supersede your own interest and you become humble before the body and say, you know what? I care more for you than trying to protect my turf. I think دیگران رو بهتر از خودتون درک بکنید. خوبی دیگران برای شما مهمتر از خودتون باشه. برای یه معلم یا یه واعظ اینه که بتونه برگرده بگه میدونی من اشتباه کردم. تا الان در این مورد اشتباه کرده بودم. خوبی شما مهمتر از منه. من حاضرم جلوی شما خودم رو کوچیک کنم بگم من اشتباه کردم. تا شما بنا بشید بیشتر. نه اینکه از خودم دفاعی بکنم. Okay? That's very important. So you must have now the same mind that was also in Christ Jesus. Now that's it. میگه حالا چنین فکری در شما باشد که در عیسی مسیح بود. Now have the same mind that was in Christ Jesus. Now that's essential. یعنی میگه چنین فکری. Now have the same thoughts as Jesus. Ready? This is the identity message. This is who we are. Ready? این جواب سوال اوله. This is the answer to the first question, who am I? Though he was God, now, can I ask you something? Who is our father? It's God himself. So are we not called the children of God? Okay, so here's an essential truth. Everything produces after its own kind. Apple trees make what? Apples. Sip, sip to lead me corner. All right, baby, deers come from? Deers. Ahu, ahu. Elephants create elephants. Whales create whales. Fish create fish. And essentially, humans create humans. But now the Bible says that we have been born of the Spirit of God Himself. So there is a God Spirit in us. Agree? We have a God spirit in us. This new creation was born of who? God. Now listen. Adam, Adam said, um, I'm alone. Adam go man tanho asta. We agree? Uh, Adam said he was alone. Because God says it's not good for Adam to be alone. Choda goft, chub niske Adam tanho basha. So God said, Adam, I'm going to make a helpmate for you. So the woman came out of Adam. Adam, Hava as Adam Mabirun. So Adam was put into a deep sleep, that Amir. In another word, a deep sleep unto death, almost like he was dead. Khabi Amir Mislemot. And out of his side, it was born the woman. Agreed? Nothing new here. And the woman was born out of him. For this reason, God said, For a man shall leave his father's house and shall come and cleave to his wife. And the two shall become one. Now 2,000 years, no, 4,000 years, move the clock forward. Another Adam, the second Adam is hanging on the cross. آدم دوم بر روی صلیب خواسته And now, out of that Adam, which now is put into a deep sleep on the cross. آدم دوم روی صلیب جان میده. And then his side is opened and pierced. پهلوی آدم دوم پاره میشه. پهلوی آدم دوم. And out of that side comes the water and the blood. 
خون و آب جاری میشه and out of that water and the blood now the bride of Christ is born which is you that's the side پهلوش پاره میشه آب و خون جاری میشه و زن ایسای مسیح که شما هستید تولد پیدا میکنه so now you are born because Adam says flesh of my flesh bone of my bones Greed? آدم میگه خون من استخان من گوشت من زن من ایسای مسیح میگه Jesus says my blood my water my spirit my flesh you're the flesh of his flesh you're the blood of his blood you're the spirit of his spirit no let me say this again you're the flesh of his flesh you're the blood of his blood you're the spirit of his spirit you are born of him you are essentially him You're him. No, I don't believe that. Well, that's your problem. That's why you have a faith problem. It takes greater faith to believe that you're one with him than to go heal a sick person. Think about that. سخته ده که باور کنید با مسیح یکی هستید تا اینکه باور کنید یه مریض رو شفا بدید. سخته ده. چون بس بکر اینکه با خدا یکی هستید. See, now you have to think that you are now one with God himself. So what does the Bible say in the book of John? First John? He says, whosoever believeth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, God is in him. Doesn't say God is next to him. Doesn't say that God is his friend only. He says God is in him. Where is the seed of God today? Kursi Chodavan Kojas? Where's the seat of God? Is it in heaven? Well, it should be called here, correct? We say, Are you not seated in heavenly places with Christ Jesus? Are you Shaman Baruy Kursi Chodavan? That cannot have the Rasa Pedan Nashi seed? Yes, I am. Well, where are you seated? I'm here. Where is your spirit? Here. So where is the kingdom? Here. They asked Jesus, where is the kingdom? Show us the kingdom. He says, it is standing in the midst of you. Well, so now, who am I? Though he was God. Though he was God. That I am one with God. God, am I, am I saying something blasphemous when I say I'm one with God? Everything produces after its own kind. همه چیز به شباهت خودش می آفرینه. آدم آدم می آفره. پلنگ پلنگ می آفره. سیب سیب تولد می کنه. گلابی گلابی تولد می کنه. خدا هم خدا تولد می کنه. God produces God. In this one context, let this mind be in you. Though he was God, he did not think of equality with God as something to cling to. Wow. So means, با اینکه خود خدا بود، مساوی بودن با خدا را قنیمت نشمرد یا برای خودش پوزیسیونی که ازش سو استفاده کنه نشمرد. He did not abuse that authority and position. It, he had the right to do whatever he wanted to do. Correct? Jesus did. شما وقتی که از خداوند تولد پیدا می کنید حق این که هر کاری رو که خدا بخواد بکنید بکنید چون خود خدا در شما هست ولی این آیه میگه این رو ازش سو استفاده نکرد That's the essence of the character Godly character doesn't mean that you don't have the ability to mess up to abuse your salvation and your authority as a believer under grace The principle here is not having the authority. It's having the authority and yet not abusing it. Let me say it again. Grace gives you permission to have no boundaries. Grace gives you no limits. All things are permissible, but not all things are beneficial. 
Grace says, you're saved, go. The character of Christ says, I can go, but I choose not to go there. فیض به شما آزادی کامل میده که هر کاری که دلتون بخواد بکنید چون فیض اینه فیض یعنی محبت بدون قید و شرط خدا ولی شخصیت مسیحی میگه با اینکه آزادم این کارو کنم تصمیم میگیرم نکنم این فرقشه م- مذهب میگه تو نمیتونی بکنی religion says you cannot do it That's not God. God says you can, but choose not to. خدا میگه میتونی ولی تصمیم میگیر نکنی. ولی مذهب میگه نکن و حق نداری. پس تو کلیسایی که فقط نکنها داده میشه مذهب درس داده میشه. در کلیسایی که توانایی و آزادی درس داده میشه و بعد شخصیت سازی میشه کلیسا بنا میشه. In a church, when people start preaching the do's and don'ts, they're bringing the essence of religion back into the church. And that is not what we're called to do. We are no longer called to preach the do's and don'ts. We are called to preach the freedom of Christ and the character of Christ that says, I can, but I choose not to. It is a far more powerful church when it doesn't have to be preached, don't do it, don't do that, don't do this. When it says, I can. But I know what Christ does, and I choose his way. Now you're stronger. Now the devil can't even do anything with you. You're more powerful than anything he ever saw. Pas azadi aval miyat, ma bad rosht az azadi risha migire. Aval rosht ne miyat bad azadi. Aval azadi miyat bad rosht. Let me say a principle truth here. Are you ready? Freedom comes first. then maturity to use that freedom properly. It doesn't come the other way around. You don't get to have maturity, then freedom. Freedom always comes first, then the maturity to use that freedom. Because you were freed the moment you believed in Jesus. And now you're on the road to maturity. Azadi aval miyat. بعد رشد روحانی که از آزادی استفاده درست بکنه ولی کلیسای ایران مثل مله های قدیمی ما دارن درست بر عکس رفتار میکنن اول بهت میگن نکن 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 اول رشد کن اول رشد کن اول رشد کن تا بتونی از آزادی استفاده کنی نمیشه آقا اینجوری ملکوت خدا بنا نشد چون زمانی که نجات پیدا کردی آزاد شدی حالا یاد بگیر از آزادی استفاده کن This is an upside down model because it goes against the model of religion. Oh my gosh, how many times did I preach in church do's and don'ts? How many times did I waste my breath trying to tell people don't do this? Guess what they did? They did it anyways. Don't waste your breath on do's and don'ts. That's a waste of time and energy. People, in fact, will do exactly what you don't want them to do. Because that is the human nature. What is the first thing that a baby learns to say? Come on. No. That's the first thing the baby learns to say. No. Because that is a rebellious spirit of man. You tell him don't. He says no. No. چون اولین حرفی که بچه یاد میگیره نه هستش بله رو یاد نمیگیره تا بعدا So in his freedom to choose man chooses rebellion but in the bondage to Christ in the freedom he has he chooses bondage to Christ but he has to be given the freedom so that when he chooses to be bound he chooses that bondage himself اول بس آزادت بکنم چون میدونی کاملا آزادی گوش کن گوش کن چون میدونی کاملا آزادی خودت انتخاب کن که بنده عیسی مسیح بشی اون وقت آخر عمر بنده هستی با انتخاب خودت the only form of bondage 
is the one that is, the only form of bondage that actually is productive and beneficial is one is called selective bondage or elective bondage. I elect myself to be bound. Onesimus to Philemon. You know one of the most amazing books in the New Testament is Philemon? Because Onesimus says, Onesimus I will choose on my own to go back to be a bond servant. That's why that book is in the Bible. It is who you should be. I am free. In Christ, I am free indeed. But I choose it. So, having been, having been equal to God, he did not think of it as something to be held. As something to cling to. Instead, he gave up his divine privileges. As God, children, you have authorities that you can abuse. به عنوان فرزندان خدا شما اقتدارهایی رو دارید که میتونید ازش سوء استفاده کنید. کلام خدا میگه میتونید یه نفر رو نبخشی و بخشیده نمیشه، میتونید یه نفر رو ببخشی و بخشیده میشه. You know you have an authority not to forgive. Bible says, for whom you do not forgive, they will not be forgiven of them. And when you will forgive, it will be forgiven. That's an authority on the child of God because Jesus could do that. You can do that. I never thought I could. Bible says you can, but I surely don't want to abuse that. But it's an authority. Do you know that? The Bible says it. Don't argue with me. That's what the Bible says. From whom you will not forgive, it will not be forgiven of them. You can forgive someone and release them or keep them bond. You have the authority. Well, that's not, I never thought I could. But yeah, that's it. But it is not something I will abuse. Man, that's what I Open doors. Close doors. Whatsoever you open up in heaven, it will be open. Whatever you close, it will be closed. That's an authority. You can look at the land and say, I close the doors of blessing over this land. You can. You have the authority. But do you want to do that? You have authority. He said instead he gave up his divine privileges. His mind wasn't on what he wants to do. Then what did he choose to do? He took the humble position of a slave. I want you to underneath that word slave. Position yek chi yereft. My identity, number one, your number one identity is you are a son or a daughter of God. Your second identity is that you're a slave. 